Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you all what I think are good molecules top five products. Before we begin with today's video, I'd love to welcome everyone who has recently subscribed to my channel. Welcome. My name is Nadia and I'm a licensed esthetician who loves to test and review skincare products. Feel free to add me on all of my other social media platforms. I will link those down below for you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet to subscribe to the channel. And be sure that you hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever there is a brand new upload. Let's start by discussing my skin type and my skincare concerns. I have normal skin that suffers primarily from hormonal breakouts. I suffer from sensitivity to some physical exfoliants, some fragrance, some essential oils, and of course alcohol in skincare or makeup products. I tolerate acids very, very well. I have had chemical peels and microdermabrasions or hydrofacials performed on my skin before to help target my skincare concerns. My skincare concerns include, but are definitely not limited to the signs of aging, sun damage, and pore size, which are all kind of intertwined with the signs of aging. You should also know that I have not tried all of Good Molecules skincare products. They launch products at a healthy, rate. You know, you're not just overwhelmed by their product launches at all. But there are a number of products that I haven't tried, such as their some of some of their facial oils, their vitamin C uh, booster powder, and I do own their hyaluronic acid serum, but I have yet to test it out. I will be sure to update the bottom bar whenever, you know, I get around to testing the hyaluronic acid serum if it is a life changer even if it's not I'll, I'll be sure to list it down below in case you are seeing this video in the future i will be discussing my favorites in order of application and not in the order in which they're my favorite i will start with the rose water daily cleansing gel this is a gentle cleanser designed to balance and brighten skin and she looks like this and she's beautiful. So this retails for $12 and you do receive four fluid ounces making this a $3 per ounce. This cleanser contains antioxidants, glycerin, and pineapple fruit extract to very gently and somatically exfoliate the skin. I like to use one full pump of this pH balanced cleanser on wet skin in the morning uh, following my workout to remove sweat, grime, uh, debris, SPF. Um, I also enjoy using this during my nighttime routine after using a balmy cleanser to remove my makeup. If you have been a viewer of mine for a while now, you know that I absolutely love a good, good lather. And this this cleanser lathers beautifully. I love that it very gently cleanses the skin without stripping it of its essential oils or uh, without leaving it tight or feeling excessively squeaky clean. I find this cleanser to just be refreshing and non-irritating. You may double cleanse with this. However, if you do wear heavy, heavy makeup, I would definitely recommend or suggest that you use a balmy cleanser to fully remove your makeup and then follow it with this to actually cleanse the skin. Um, I definitely do enjoy the packaging. It is a glass bottle um, and even though I have used I, I went through the first initial unit that they sent me as part of PR and I used all of it up I used it morning and evening I just was so obsessed with this cleanser with 
I want to say for the entirety of of last year. And even though I used one full unit of this, um, I managed to not break that one at all. Um, and then I loved it so, so much that I ordered one. I feel like the pump also facilitates use. One pump is all that you need to effectively cleanse the skin. This cleanser would work on all skin types who are looking for a cleanser that does not contain any fragrance, alcohol, essential oils. I also feel that this is an affordable alternative to a drunk elephant's best jelly cleanser which is also a favorite of mine of course because it's very gentle non-stripping non-drying i perform facials and other uh, skin care treatments for a living and i feel like the cleanse is kind of like your opening act if you find a cleanser within a range that just you know opens up your skincare ritual beautifully. Um, I think that it's it's definitely worth discussing. And I, you know, this is by any means not like the most luxurious cleanser, but I feel like it does a great job. It, it cleanses the skin without stripping it. And I enjoyed it all of last year. I am doing a, a test currently with a cleanser that, um, does not lather and I, I really just find myself missing this which is so strange but you know I just love this cleanser so so much my my second favorite is another cleansing product this is the uh, good molecules pineapple exfoliating cleanser this is formulated with fruit enzymes vitamin C and rice powder to soften brighten and gently exfoliate this is what the product looks like. This retails for $16 and you do receive 2.1 fluid ounces, making this $7.61 per ounce. This is a water activated powder exfoliant that contains pineapple fruit extract to enzymatically exfoliate the skin. I know a number of people who are allergic to topical application and consumption of pineapple, but this stuff is amazing. I love, love, love seeing papaya and pineapple in skincare formulas. Seeing as I do have a sensitivity to physical exfoliants, I typically reach for products that contain enzymes within their formulas. I like to describe enzymes as a little Pac-Man that eat away at anything that is dulling, drying, or congesting the skin. I love using this in the shower. I love how this just lathers so beautifully with just a few drops of water. I, I think I use about a nickel sized amount of this. I add a few drops of water and I do like to apply it to wet skin and then I work it into the skin in circular motions. I do like to let it sit over the skin for about a minute or two. Once removed, my skin feels so smooth and it looks glassy. I do like reaching for this about once or twice a week. I do use a ton of chemical exfoliant so I don't feel like my skin really uh, craves this as much as it may have done so in the past. You know, in preparation for today's video, I, I haven't felt the need to like mask or physically exfoliate the skin, but as soon as I just started thinking of how this feels on my skin, I'm like, mm. I really, really want to use this now, but because I am, you know, testing something like that's very kind of strict, I don't want to uh, mask or uh, enzymatically exfoliate the skin. So I'm going to try to brave it out and not use this until that test is, is over. I would recommend this to anyone who just cannot tolerate physical exfoliants or chemical exfoliants. Um, anyone that has like really, really congested skin uh, would definitely benefit from use. I did film a video in which I used this product, so I will link her up above. 
uh, if you would like to see uh, this product in action. The next product I have is the Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner. This is formulated with niacinamide, vitamin C, arbutin, and licorice root extract to brighten and improve the appearance of enlarged pores. So I was really trying to empty this out but again, I'm doing a, a really strict test, so I didn't wanna like introduce this to the skin while doing the test, but I am almost near emptying this, so I'm so excited. So this retails for $6, and you do receive four fluid ounces, uh, making this $1.50 per ounce, so she is affordable. Like I mentioned earlier, this toner is formulated with some of the best ingredients out there to help brighten, even tone, and minimize the appearance of pores. There are no drying alcohols, no fragrance, no essential oils, or pore ingredients within the this formula. We see uh, niacinamide, vitamin C, arbutin, and licorice root extract, which are excellent. Some of the best skin brighteners out there. I like to use this in my bare hands. I will drop a few drops of this on my hands and then I just work it into the skin. Depending on how dehydrated my skin uh, feels for the day or night, I will do like an additional layer or two. I really like that this is budget friendly. It's easy to apply and it contains a tyrosinase inhibitor, um, antioxidants, and pore refiners. I don't feel like I need to use a cotton round with this particular toner. I would recommend this to all skin types, even more so those who um, are looking to improve their skin tone seeing as this does contain the arbutin, the vitamin C, and niacinamide. Uh, this also gives the skin an incredible glow. Out of all of the toners in my collection, this one gives the ultimate glow. So if you are struggling with the dull skin, you should give this toner a go. Anyone who is looking to kind of introduce the topical application of niacinamide, not in the form of a serum, uh, you can introduce it to the skin in the form of a toner with this. And she is very, very inexpensive as well. Uh, next up, I have the Good Molecules Niacinamide Serum. This is formulated with 10% niacinamide to refine your skin's texture and minimize pores. So this babe retails for $6, um, and you do receive one fluid ounce. Uh, this is formulated uh, with 10% niacinamide. The second ingredient we see in the ingredients list is niacinamide is a dynamic, skin-soothing, skin-restoring ingredient that can benefit the skin in multiple ways as it can minimize the size of pores, minimize breakouts, improve the appearance of uneven tone, fine lines, and dullness while at the same time strengthening that protective barrier. Niacinamide also minimizes rosacea-like symptoms, which is a skin replenishing, skin restoring ingredient that balances and hydrates the skin. I love using this on uh, my retinol nights. So what I like to do is I'll apply thin a layer of this serum and then I'll wait a few minutes to maybe an hour and then I'll apply my retinol serum or my retinol cream. Uh, niacinamide helps to minimize the dryness and irritation that is often associated uh, with the use of retinol, retinoid products. And it can also improve the effects of retinol by accelerating or increasing cell turnover. So the reason why I like to use retinol is of course it does treat the signs of aging, but it also improves uh, post-inflammation hyperpigmentation, which I've been dealing with a lot because as we age, our cell turnover uh, slows down. So uh, using both niacinamide and retinol will really speed up that cell turnover, thus uh, increasing the amount of time that it takes for you to fade those dark spots. Results that I've noticed from using this are, of course, uh, smaller 
looking the pores, uh, more even toned and hydrated skin. Unlike the Ordinary's Niacinamide Serum, I find this formula much, much easier to work with and a lot less drying. I can use this alone on, you know, lazy nighttime skincare routines, but I feel like I see the most results when I pair this with my retinol serum or cream. This serum is free of any drying alcohols, essential oils, and fragrance, so I would recommend this to anyone with rosacea-prone skin or even sensitive skin types who are looking to improve dull, dry, uneven tone, texture, um, and most importantly, um, enlarged pores. I think anyone, anyone can use the serum, to be honest. I did film a review on this particular uh, serum, so if you perhaps missed it or would like to see this serum in action, I will link the video up above for you. And then I think this is my last one, and it's the one that's empty. <laughs> Um, but this is the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. She retails for $12 and you do receive one fluid ounce. This serum contains 2% Terraceutic TX Vector or Cetyl Tranexamic Mesylate, which delivers a tranexamic acid deep into the skin to help fade hyperpigmentation. Tranexamic acid, according to Paula's Choice, interrupts at least two pathways in a skin that can lead to discoloration, including melasma. We also find niacinamide within this formula. As discussed previously, niacinamide is a dynamic skincare ingredient that helps to minimize breakouts and minimize uh, the signs of like rosacea-like symptoms. We also see glycerin within this formula. This is the fourth ingredient here. Glycerin is a skin replenishing ingredient, skin restoring ingredient, and it helps to balance and hydrate the skin as a defense against dryness. So I used an entire unit of this last spring and summer. Um, I tested this product and I just could not put it down. I would have repurchased this product again, but instead I purchased the Daily Brightening Serum and I, I do prefer this serum over that serum. Um, I would typically reach for this during my morning routine, use a few drops, apply a nice layer over the skin, um, and then go in with my either moisturizer at the time. I think I was still using a ton of moisturizer um, or my SPF. From using this, I noticed a brighter, plumper, more even toned skin. I love that this is fragrance free, essential oil free, and drying alcohol free. So anyone who is concerned with dark spots, acne scars, melasma, or sun damage would definitely benefit from use. With uh, tyrosinase inhibitors, um, it is important that you practice consistency and patience most of all. Daily or nightly topical application of tyrosinase inhibitors is essential for you to see results. If you are not seeing results, consider perhaps pairing it with an enzyme Matic exfoliant or a chemical exfoliant such as their overnight exfoliating treatment to perhaps speed up that cell turnover or remove any dead cellular debris from over top of the skin to enhance the penetration of uh, ingredients such as these. That is all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit the like button. I also do have a list of products that are honorable mentions. If you would like to see a video in which I discuss those honorable mentions, do leave it in the comment section down below. I really tried not to go into specifics as far as ingredients so as not to make this video much longer than it already is. So if you'd like to know a little bit more about each product, if I reviewed it, I have linked a video up above when I discussed each product. If you missed that, I 
will link those product reviews down below as well. I think I think that's really all I have. Thank you again for watching today's video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Sharing with you all. <sighs> oh, pineapple fruit and a really fast car. Feel like I use a toner or currently with a well actually yes the uh, anyway ingredient that can benefit the skin in multiple